Hey, what's going on, Zachariah 10 1 family? Nick here, out running, jogging, exercising, enjoying the outdoors, the beauty of God's creation. And as I'm running and I'm walking, uh, I realize that I could start praying for all the houses that I'm running by, all the families that are together. Uh, as, I'm, as I'm running, I notice that these houses I usually run by uh, before never had cars in the driveway. And now there's cars in the driveway and this family is out front doing yard work together. This family is out front uh, playing catch together. Sons and fathers playing catch. Uh, I even seen a, a father and daughter and a mother uh, like having a tickle attack, tickling each other. And it was amazing to see, uh, the, uh, you know, to kind of look back into how innocent and beautiful America used to be and uh, how these values and family time have kind of dwindled more towards work and self and the, you know, I, I, I and, and vanity. And I believe, I firmly believe that God has given us this time to really appreciate what we've lost. You know, you don't really know what you had till it's gone. And I think this is a time that was been not forced, but ordained by God for us to spend time together. So when this virus is all gone, when it's all said and done, we can look back and realize that those moments with our families were important and they really mean something to us and really hold a place into our hearts. It's important for the men, the husbands, the fathers in this community and their families to step up, to step out and do more than they ever have before for their families and for their community. Start worshiping with your family. Start reading them the word. Start uh, showing your wife some appreciation. Uh, just share some real quality time with your wife, some real quality time with your husband, some real quality time with your children and as a family. And I guarantee you, when this is all said and done and gone, you're gonna miss it. And then you're gonna start setting things in place, start setting some important time, start setting schedules to, to spend family time together, to spend one-on-one uh, -on -one spouse time together uh, for the married couples. And uh, I just encourage you guys that when you go out there today, Pray for somebody. Pray for people walking by. Pray for the families inside their house. Also, you don't have to see them. You don't have to know them, but pray for them. Christ knows what they need. God knows what they need. And the Holy Spirit's going to use you and speak it out loud. A friend told me to read the Bible out loud and to speak your prayers out loud. And it holds so much power and truth. And I firmly believe that. And the spot smile, I realized today in America, people don't, they don't really put eye contact anymore. As I'm walking, people are putting their heads down. And I'm, I'm like, why? Just pick your head up. There's no reason to be sad. There's no reason. And the people who did look back at me, they smiled. I waited and I smiled back. And I, I could tell that they went down the road. And that was contagious. And they went on to do that to somebody else. And then somebody else it was like a domino effect. And uh, just, just encourage other people through your happiness and through your bliss. And uh, it's the glue that holds uh, the brothers and sisters of Christ together. It's the glue that holds our community together. Just love, love conquers all things. Love conquers fear, love conquers hate, love conquers bitterness. It takes time. If there's something that you're having a hard time getting over or getting through, just know that love and forgiveness is what's gonna conquer that, that bitterness, conquer that unforgiveness, conquer that hurt inside of you. And the same thing here through this situation our communities are going through. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of unknown. Conquer all that with love, with the love of Christ. Stay encouraged, stay prayed up, stay loving. God bless you guys.